the magical treatise of Solomon, sometimes known as Hygromantea or Hygromancy of Solomon, the Solomonike, or even Little Key of the Whole Art of Hygromancy, found by several craftsmen and by the holy prophet Solomon, refers to a group of similar late Byzantine-era grimoires purporting to contain Solomon's instructions to his son Rehoboam on various magical techniques and tools to summon and control different spirits. Those spirits' powers, astrological beliefs, select charms, different means of divination, and the magical uses of herbs, history and influence. The oldest manuscripts are from the 14th century, and the majority from the 15th century, but Pablo A. Torrijanos claim that it is based on material going as far back as the 6th century is either accepted or at least regarded as plausible. Joannes Marathakis, while not denying the possibility of Torrijanos' theory, suggests that some time between the 13th or 14th centuries is more likely. The magical treatise of Solomon served as a bridge between the Roman era Testament of Solomon and the Renaissance Key of Solomon. Early copies of the magical treatise were appended to or incorporated elements of the Testament of Solomon, while one of the earliest manuscripts of the Key of Solomon is also classified as a late copy of the magical treatise. Some manuscripts featured demons assigned to the four cardinal directions, distinct from those found in the Lesser Key of Solomon and related works, but very similar to those found in later works such as the Grand Grimoire and Grimoireum Verum. Portions of the treatise also have some relationship to the Heptameron of Pietro di Barno, the Lesser Key of Solomon, and the Sworn Book of Honorius, and select ideas may bear distant relationships to the Book of Abramelin, the Greek magical papyri, Sefer Raziel Hamaluk, Sefer Ha Razim, the Sword of Moses, and the Saranides contents. The magical treatise provides instructions on how to create planetary, daily, and hourly talismans, a magic sword, vessels for divination and conjuration, wax figures, scrolls, a ring, special clothing, and a garland, all intended to control summoned spirits, angelic conjurations, general prayers to God, and prayers to control planetary influences are listed. Astrological beliefs, including supposed relationship between planets and select plants, are presented as esoteric knowledge. Different angels and demons over different planets, days, and hours are named, as well as what function they perform. Although the lists are mostly unique to each manuscript, angels mentioned include Michael, Gabriel, Uriel, Raphael, and Anil. Demons mentioned include Asmodeus, Abizuth, Onascalia, Lucifer, Astereth, and Beelzebub. Additions The Magical Treatise of Solomon, or Hygromantea, Trans, and Dead. Joannes Marathakis, 4. Stephen Skinner, Golden Horde Press, 2011. Translation of Select Manuscripts in Solomon, The Esoteric King, From King to Magus, Development of a Tradition, by Pablo A. Torrigiano, Brill, January 2002. Also featured in pp. 311-325 of Old Testament Pseudepigrapha, More Non-Canonical Scriptures, Volume 1, ed. S. Richard Baucom, James R. De Villa, Alexander Panayotov, W. M. B. Edmonds Publishing, 2013. Transcription of one manuscript in Anecdota Athenianzia, by Armand de Latter, L. I. Acute G. E., 1927. Noted to be the most well known, 